Hi. Uh, so please introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Sonen Ko, and uh, I'm right now I'm with the Pao Chin, Pao Chin Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation. And uh, Pao Chin actually PSM, is sure the PSMC is a foundry house in Taiwan. So we are not only making the DRAM, we are also making any kind of the logic process. So from the post here, you can tell that we are making uh, the driver for LED or LED driver. And at the same time, we also make it the IGBT. IGBT is specialized for the uh, for the uh, automobile application because for the most of the automobile application require very high current, high voltage. So this kind of process will be very suitable for the automobile application. But here, I would like to emphasize another technology that now we have is about the DRAM because uh, Pouch started with us the DRAM foundry house, and uh, right now we are, pro we are, not, we are now only providing the DRAM manufacturing. Right now, we also uh, would like to introduce another, another kind of another new kind of specialized DRAM product that will provide very high bandwidth here. So that's mean that you can have a very high bandwidth talk to your AI engine, so you can closely talk to. Uh, to talk to your AI engine without any limitation. I mean, without any the memory bottleneck here. Yeah. So we just use the so-called the bonding. Okay. We put two wafers together and bonding with each other. So that's been that uh, we have a, we can have a very many connection between the two die the two wafer. So we can resolve those kind of memory bottleneck issue. So you do driving display memory. Uh -huh. uh, the IGPT, what is that? That's a, a, a specialized the, 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 the process. And the main purpose here is that is to make the, 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 the high voltage and the high current device. Because you know, when you want to charge your car, you need a very high voltage and high current to shorten the charging time. Yes. So the purpose of the IGPT is to provide this kind of process for this kind of products. And what is this wafer we see here? Uh, this is a DRAM wafer. DRAM? DRAM wafer, yes. Um, this is explaining this, DRAM wafer? Yeah, the DRAM wafer, so we have a, 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 a kind of idea slide that we can, has a, a sorry, maybe I should, it's just already over, over the slide, yes. Yes. Let me see. Open it again. Okay, stop here. So, uh, this is the idea is like that uh, we provide a special kind of DRAM design and uh, we just use a DRAM block, a spare small DRAM tile. So, for, for example, for a uh, different kind of application, maybe it requires different kind of or different capacity, or memory capacity. So, here we try to use the DRAM tile idea. So, once you need a bigger density, a bigger capacity for your application, you can put, uh, for example, here for the yellow, for the red, uh, the, 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 the rectangular means that you can use four tiles together for your application. But for certain application making, you need a bigger density, bigger different capacity. You can use uh, sixteen tiles together to get a bigger density. So that's mean that we can have uh, depends on your applications. We can provide a flexible configuration for your applications. Yes. So that's the way to do more memory, is just add more add around, more, correct. instead of trying to put more inside this one. Yeah, correct. correct. Is it many people do like that? Yes, that, that's the, for sure this is a kind of brand new idea, but right now many people, be, because they would like to the flexibility for their system, also they don't want to specialize or customize for their own different design. So they, they would like to keep the flexibility, uh, but at the same time they would like to have the, some certain kind of low cost. That would be the, the, the best option for them. So here I see monolithic IGZO uh, silicon, what is it, SI, SOC? SI, uh, yes. Uh, and what is the special part of you doing the OLED display driver? Uh, because, uh, you know, typical the, 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 the OLED here, you can tell the from the display here. Typically, the worldwide, typically the OLED display will have a driver side by side with the the, the, the piece of itself. Yeah, so let's mean that it will accommodate a bigger area to to to, to, to for for for, for per piece. Of, yes, but right now here we try to stick the the, the, the driver and the piece of uh, uh, 
upside down. Yeah, one is on the top, one on the bottom. So that's been that we can put the stack of these two device together to save space. Yes. Save space. Yes, yeah, save space. And nobody else do like this? Uh, not many people here. Yeah, because they require the specialized uh, the product development to have a silicon, you know, the, and the ICDO, and also OLED driver. So that will three layer the, the process. So that's that be very difficult. So, uh, but, but, but we are the few one here to develop this kind of technology. So you have a way to connect things together mm. that just works. Yes, yeah, works. Because I, when I see a, a wafer like this, yes. I don't really understand how you connect two wafers together, for example. Okay. How does that happen? Uh, maybe, let me show, can, can I see, can I see any of the here? Let me see. Yeah. Let's see the to. Okay. So that's the way we connect two wafer together. Because you can tell that uh, the, the blue part is the, the Deeran wafer. The green part is uh, for the larger wafer. Okay. So these are two wafer. And uh, we use the, 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 the we call the tomato because for each wafer there are many 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 many, many the metal layers. We just let the two top metal, that's the copper material. So we just use the, the two top metal to contact with each other to, to make a connection. Yes. So, so that's the thing that we can talk to each other for, the, for, for these two wafers. Um, these things, chips and stuff, mm. that goes on wafers, um, how do they usually connect? Like on the chip, there's connectors usually? And then you just connect them? You mean from the chip to the outside board? Yeah, how does it usually work? Okay, then wait, wait a moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Market? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so Is this also your booth here? Uh, yes. So, so this is a usual chip, okay? So you want to once you have the, the, the signal in the chip to connect to the outside world, for the outside to the board, you need to have the wire. Can you see the golden feet, golden wire? The gold wire. Yeah. Yeah, the gold wire here. You yes. all connect to the side of the chip, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. And somehow you connect those sides to the other, or I don't know, like you connect the two wafers, but it's nothing to do with this? Nothing to do with it. Yeah, the, the way we connect two wafers together is by this way. Yeah, so the wafer will touch with each other directly. And because they are the main layer on the top of the two wafers, so the two wafers will come contact with each other to make the connection. But if we want to have the tie to talk to the outside world, okay, you want to have the tie to talk to the outside world, you need to do the wire bound to let the signal wire out to the system, system board. Yes. Uh, what else do you have on the other side of the booth? And here we have the uh, live demo for our technology. Because I mentioned that the HRE uh, we provide the two die to stack it with each other together. So 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 that's mean that uh, we can save save a lot of energy for data movement. What because is this chip here? This chip is the same chip as this one. The same chip as this one, yes. And uh, so this is a chip you use for. Yeah. This is a chip for AI processing. AI. Yeah, AI processing. Yes. Is it an arm? Oh, not really. It's a, not, uh, a AI accelerator. Yes. AI accelerator. Yes. And here you have demo doing the AI. Yeah, correct. So we are doing the, the demo here. We are doing right now. We call it YOLO. YOLO is a very typical the, the AI algorithm. The main purpose of YOLO is that to detect object. Okay, you can see here. We are detecting the 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 the, the, the people. Okay, how many there are people? You and me and some other passenger here. Yes, and uh, this is another platform. This is another platform doing the same job. Okay, doing the same job. So they also uh, do the YOLO program, try to detect the human. Okay. And this is the same chip? 
Uh, so that, 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 that's a key point I would like to tell you. Because you know, you can touch here. You can touch here. It's very hard. Hot. This is high power? High power, and you can touch this one. This one is... Uh, very cool. No low power. Yes. Ah, so this is the competitor. The competitor, and yeah. And you do everything for much less power. Yeah, correct. You, are, you got the point. So we are doing the same job, the same air, air algorithm. But you can tell that actually this one consumes lots of power. This consumes very, very little power. The reason is here because we put two chips together very closely with each other. So we save a lot of energy for the data movement. And you work with the RISC V? Uh, yes, that's the, the core to operate, to control the system. So it's a RISC V SOC. And also there is a, a CN engine. Yeah. Multiplayer, very cool. What is a CNN? Yeah, CNN, yes. Is, you have CNN and Fox News? Or is yes. it different? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's not funny. And, uh, uh, yeah. Is this showing something? Uh, this is another product by the, our subsidiaries uh, called uh, the tire pressure detector. Tire pressure detector, yes. I always wonder how does this work because are there batteries in there or is just getting the, yes. the power from the pressure? Not really. There's a battery here. There's a pressure sensor here. Yeah, pressure so sensor and a battery in there? Battery, yeah, yes. How long does the battery last? Uh, at least three to five years. Three to five years? Yes. yes. Wow, that's just magic, I think. Yes. And this goes in the car? Yes. And this little thing will give you in real time your tire pressure tire for all? And also temperature, real time. Temperature? Yes. So if you drive too much, it will tell you have a brake? If you press your brake too much, it will let your tire become very hot. That will become the issue, yes. So they will decay the temperature. So this is your whole booth? Yes. And uh, your company? Uh, power chip. Power chip. Power chip, yeah. Yeah, you're here. Power Chief Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation. Yeah. All right. And you're very famous in the industry? Uh, at least in Taiwan, because we want to be the biggest uh, DRAM uh, house in Taiwan. Uh, biggest? Yes. DRAM? DRAM in Taiwan. Yes, and also in terms of the, the foundry uh, manufacturing, actually, we also rank in the six, uh, numbers. The number six. Let me say, let me six in the world. Six in the world. Six in the world? Yes. Yeah. For what? Uh, foundry. Semiconductor foundry. Ah, foundry. Yes. Foundry service. All right. Foundry. So after TSMC and uh, some other guys? TSMC, UMC, and some other guys. You, you are right. Yes. All right. And How this is what it looks like? Uh, yes. That's the what, the, what my own favorite. Let me see. Yeah. 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 Oh, do they? About that. Yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. Is it uh, in Shin, Shinsu? Shinsu, yeah. Everybody's in Shinsu. And the technology you talked to me uh, today is like groundbreaking future stuff, right? Yeah. Or is it already on the market, all this? Uh, this one is already in the market. Uh, this one is, uh, this two are quite new, new, new product. Yes. So the first announcement. This is Fab here. That's your? Our fab. Fab? Yeah, our fab. Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use Wise. Wise is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your Wise card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. Uh, don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart.